years, lithium was the undisputed king of the electric car kingdom. Almost all Tesla cars, and those of other manufacturers as well, relied on lithium-ion batteries, seen as the heart of the automotive revolution. But like any seemingly eternal rain, lithium began to show its weaknesses. In situations of impact or flooding, these batteries can become veritable walking bombs. And that's not all. The excessive weight of the cell packs compromises the vehicle's agility and requires more energy to move what should be a light and efficient car. This is where the promises of cheap, safe, and agile electric cars begin to falter. The Model 2, designed to cost less than $25,000, exposed this problem. To reach this price point without sacrificing performance, Elon Musk knew something had to change, and it wouldn't be a small change. Continuing with the traditional battery would mean accepting the same safety, weight, and cost limitations. A game-changer was needed, an alternative that would break free from the chemical constraints of the past. And it was precisely at this point that aluminum ion emerged, not as a futuristic idea, but as a very real answer to an increasingly urgent dilemma. The technical challenge was daunting. How to build a battery safe enough to withstand daily use, light enough to maintain range, and cheap enough to stay within production budgets. With aluminum, engineers began to glimpse a previously seemingly impossible equation. Unlike lithium, aluminum is naturally stable, does not ignite easily, and is among the most abundant elements on the planet. Suddenly, what was once an obstacle became an opportunity, the chance to transform the energy base for electric vehicles. This shift didn't come out of nowhere. Behind it lies a decade of research, failures, redesigns, and testing that few saw behind the scenes of the gigafactories. Elon Musk himself revealed that he spent months immersed in battery production, trying to accelerate the process that would make the Model 2 a reality. The search wasn't just for a new chemical component, but for a new production model that would give Tesla the freedom to cut costs without sacrificing safety. Aluminum ion, in this sense, seemed tailor-made for this nearly impossible mission. And it's no exaggeration to say that the Model 2's greatest enemy was lithium itself. As advanced as its technology may be, it carries a dangerous liability. Thermal instability. A simple coolant leak can ruin everything. And in the case of popular cars, aimed at high sales volumes, this risk simply cannot exist. It was necessary to opt for a cell type that could survive day-to-day -day life without requiring so much care, sensors, and shielding. The lightness of aluminum, in this case, brought not only energy efficiency, but also a sense of reliability. Cost also played a significant role in the equation. While lithium relies on intensive mining in politically sensitive regions and expensive metals like cobalt, aluminum is virtually everywhere. This means less dependence on strategic suppliers, less environmental impact, and, above all, a real chance to lower the cost per KDW. Current estimates suggest that aluminum packs could cost up to half the price of lithium ones. This alone would be a victory, but there's more. Aluminum also opens an unexpected door, design freedom. Without the need for cumbersome cooling systems and thermal containment barriers, engineers have room to rethink the car from the ground up. And that's exactly what Tesla began doing with the Model 2, integrating the battery directly into the car's structure, transforming it into part of the chassis. This not only reduces the number of parts, but also improves the vehicle's rigidity and performance, something unthinkable with the limitations of lithium. With all these factors combined, safety, lightness, cost, abundance, and engineering freedom, the promise of aluminum ion began to leave the drawing board and take shape in Tesla's laboratories and factories. The Model 2 ceased to be a theoretical project and now has a body, wheels, and a mission to prove that it's possible to deliver an affordable electric car without compromising what truly matters. The old dependence on lithium began to crumble, and with it came the expectation of a new industry-wide standard. 
When looking inside an aluminum ion battery, the first thing that strikes you is its structural difference. Forget the classic graphite anode bathed in flammable electrolytes. Here, the base is pure aluminum, a metal that conducts efficiently and doesn't react explosively with its environment. This anode connects to a porous graphene cathode, a lightweight, strong, and highly conductive material. It's this combination that allows the ions to move with surprising speed. And unlike lithium cells, which require near-constant thermal equilibrium, aluminum ion cells remain calm even when stressed. The electrolyte is another turning point. Instead of the toxic and flammable liquids that typically fuel reactions in lithium cells, aluminum ion batteries use water-based substances, or ionic liquids, which don't catch fire or release dangerous gases. This choice not only eliminates the risk of combustion, but also simplifies the cell's internal construction. The absence of volatile materials makes the assembly process safer and transportation less restricted. It's like swapping a bottle of gasoline for one of water. The tension disappears and the focus returns to performance. And the performance in this case surprises even the most skeptical. In tests conducted by universities and specialized startups, such as Graphene Manufacturing Group and the University of Queensland, the results were jaw-dropping. The cells fully charged in less than a minute in the laboratory. Yes, you read that right less than 60 seconds. This represents a drastic departure from the current logic of electric vehicles, where waiting 30 to 60 minutes for a full charge is still considered normal. If this time is maintained on an industrial scale, lines at superchargers could become a thing of the past. Speed, however, is only part of the package. Aluminum also excels in durability. While lithium batteries begin to show signs of wear after 1,000 or 2,000 charge cycles, aluminum ion prototypes remain strong after more than 10,000 cycles, maintaining 90% of their original capacity. This means a lifespan up to five times longer, a leap that completely changes the relationship between consumer and car. Imagine not having to replace the battery throughout the vehicle's entire lifespan, for fleets, this means massive savings. For consumers, it means peace of mind. Another factor that ensures this longevity is the absence of the dreaded dendrites. These microscopic metallic structures, common in lithium batteries, grow over time and can pierce the separator between the cell's poles, causing dangerous short circuits. In aluminum ion batteries, these formations simply don't occur. The result? A battery that can be charged faster, more often, and with less risk of catastrophic failure. It's as if the cell's own immune system had been strengthened from the start. And there's more. The power density of these cells is impressive. They can release energy much more intensely, which translates into stronger launches and a more efficient regenerative braking system. In other words, the car responds better, accelerates more vigorously, and even recovers more energy during deceleration. This not only improves drivability, but also increases the vehicle's overall efficiency. It's exactly the kind of behavior that defines the Tesla driving experience. Responsive, fluid, and with instant torque. Graphene, in turn, is no accident. This material has extremely high electrical conductivity and a molecular structure that favors the rapid movement of ions when used in the cathode, it boosts recharging speed and allows for the use of less material to achieve the same performance levels. This directly contributes to weight reduction and increased energy efficiency. It's as if every atom in the battery is optimized to deliver more with less effort. With this set of innovations, aluminum anode, graphene cathode, and non-flammable electrolyte, what seemed like just a promise is beginning to become a concrete alternative. The aluminum ion battery not only surpasses lithium ion in several technical aspects, but also creates a new paradigm of safety and practicality. The big challenge now is to take this from the test bench to the streets on a global scale. But the foundation is solid and the potential is more than promising. 
While the performance is impressive and the durability surprising, what truly changes the game are the environmental and economic impacts of this new technology. Aluminum is ubiquitous. It represents about 8% of the Earth's crust, while lithium is a scarce element, with less than 0.02% of natural abundance. This means that, in addition to being cheaper, aluminum is much easier to obtain, reducing logistical costs and dependence on politically unstable mining zones. In a world increasingly attentive to the supply chain, this shift in raw materials is strategic. The production cost of batteries directly reflects this. The price per kWh of aluminum ion cells is estimated to be below $40, practically half the current average cost of a lithium ion battery. This has huge implications for the final price of vehicles. If Tesla can truly maintain this scale reduction, the Model 2 could sell with healthy margins even at a price below $25,000. And this detail doesn't go unnoticed by the competition, which is still stuck with the lithium-ion production model and its high embedded costs. Furthermore, aluminum-ion cells do not use cobalt, nickel, or manganese, three metals whose extraction raises serious environmental and humanitarian concerns. By eliminating them, Tesla avoids exploration in high-risk regions, such as cobalt mines in Africa and eliminates much of the criticism leveled at the battery industry. The new model is not only cheaper, but also cleaner. And this is a significant factor in a market where consumers are increasingly aware of the impact of their choices. Recyclability also offers a significant advantage. Aluminum ion batteries can be fully recycled, with up to 100% of the main materials being used. Because there are no toxic residues or heavy metals the process is simpler, cheaper, and more energy efficient. Up to 70% less energy is used in recycling compared to lithium. This means that, in the long run, the environmental impact of the battery's complete cycle, from production to disposal, is significantly lower. In a world moving toward increasingly stringent environmental regulations, this is no small detail. Safety is also an unquestionable priority. While lithium batteries can easily ignite in an accident, aluminum ion cells eliminate this risk right from the start. There is no exothermic reaction when exposed to air or water. In short circuit and puncture tests conducted by independent institutes, such as the University of Queensland, the batteries maintained their integrity even at temperatures above 250 Stuck C. In impact simulations, the temperature rise was minimal and no flammable gases were released. And this robustness extends to exposure to water. While a lithium battery reacts violently to moisture, releasing corrosive and flammable gases, the aluminum ion battery exhibits none of these symptoms. In tests, prototypes were submerged for 48 hours in salt water and, after drying, recovered up to 97% of their original capacity. This represents a complete shift in the safety paradigm for electric vehicles. Imagine a car that fell into a flood being able to be restarted without the risk of explosion, a previously unthinkable prospect. This tolerance to extreme environments also directly impacts manufacturing costs and the protection systems built into cars. Without the risk of explosion, it's unnecessary to include as many thermal sensors, containment barriers, or cumbersome heat management systems. This means fewer components, less weight, and lower costs. And, consequently, a simpler, more efficient, and more affordable car for the end consumer. The cycle of safety and savings feeds back into itself, creating a leaner and more resilient production chain. This combination of factors, lower cost, greater safety, reduced environmental impact, and greater chemical stability forms the basis of a quiet revolution. Tesla isn't just swapping one metal for another. It's rewriting the rules for how a battery should work, how it should be produced, and how it should die. Aluminum ion technology in this context is not just an innovation, but a game changer that forces the market to rethink its bets. And eyes now turn to the next step.
Putting all this underground. The next step involves the practical application of all this technology within the car's structure. And this is where the Model 2 begins to stand out even more. Instead of treating the battery as a separate component, tucked into a compartment, Tesla decided to integrate it directly into the vehicle's chassis. This means the battery isn't just inside the car, it's and part of the structure that supports everything. With this change, the car gains structural rigidity and also eliminates redundant components, such as side members and heavy metal reinforcements that would normally be required. The lightness of the aluminum ion battery is also a plus in this new architecture. The cells don't require the same cooling and shielding systems as lithium ion batteries, allowing Tesla to remove several layers of thermal protection. This alone represents a saving of up to 100 kilohertz in compact vehicles like the Model 2. This weight reduction, while seemingly small at first glance, has a cascading effect. It improves acceleration, braking, energy consumption, and even handling. It's as if the car breathes more easily. Another curious detail is the absence of active cooling systems. Lithium batteries require tubes, radiators, and coolant constantly circulating between the cells. In aluminum ion batteries, this complexity simply disappears. Because the cells operate stably even at high temperatures, there's no need for a heavy and expensive system to keep everything under control. This eliminates not only dozens of parts, but also mechanical and electrical failure points. Fewer parts, less maintenance, less weight, a combination any engineer dreams of implementing. With all these removals, Tesla is able to free up space and reduce vehicle costs without compromising performance. Furthermore, this integrated structure improves the car's torsional rigidity, that is, how well it resists twisting during sharp turns and maneuvers. This translates into greater stability and control, elevating the driving experience to a level beyond what one would expect from an affordable vehicle. Lightness here doesn't mean fragility, but rather intelligence in the distribution of forces and the engineering of the car's body. This synergy between chemistry and design paves the way for a new kind of electric vehicle, one that not only works well, but was designed from the ground up to be truly electric. No more adapting legacy platforms or cobbling together components. The idea is for the Model 2 to be optimized down to the last detail for the technology it carries. And when you use a lighter, safer, and more stable battery, this creative freedom expands. Design no longer has to conform to the limits imposed by lithium. And that changes everything. From a range perspective, the combination of lightness and efficiency also allows Tesla to use a smaller pack without sacrificing autonomy. It's estimated that a 4550 kilowatt aluminum ion pack could deliver between 400 and 480 milliliters of real-world range, which is very close to the current figures for the Model 3, which uses larger and heavier packs. This not only makes the car more economical to produce, but also more responsive. A lighter vehicle requires less energy to move, and this detail is reflected in the consumer's final bill. And it's not just about going further. A lighter car also brakes better, responds more quickly to direction changes, and places less strain on the tires and suspension. In practical tests, a 100 kg reduction in the vehicle's total weight can shave up to 0.15 seconds off the 0 to 100 km kmh acceleration time and reduce braking distances by 3 to 5%. These are gains that don't just appear in the specification sheet, but are truly felt in everyday life. And in the case of a city car like the Model 2,